Hello students, welcome to physics learning point. In this video, let us discuss the electronic theory of valence. According to this theory, the formation of chemical bond between atoms, it is mainly on the basis of valency electrons. And this theory was developed by the scientist Louis and Cosell independently and they provided a logical explanation on the basis of lack of reactivity of noble gases and which led to octet rules. We know that all the noble gases or 18th group elements have 8 electrons in their outermost orbits except helium. Helium has only 2 electrons in its orbit it has only one orbit the first orbit can hold only two electrons that's why the helium has two electrons and completely filled in first orbit and remaining all noble gases or 18th group elements they have eight electrons in its outermost orbit and due to having eight electrons the noble gases are unreactive they are stable to get eight electrons in their outermost orbits the other group elements like first group elements second group elements third group fourth group fifth sixth seventh group elements to get eight electrons in their outermost orbit they undergo chemical changes during the chemical changes these first to seventh group elements they lose or gain electrons by losing or by gaining electrons they get eight electrons in its outermost orbits left valency orbit so in this way they get stability for example the first group elements from lithium to cesium all the elements having one electron in outermost orbit for example the sodium atomic number is 11 and it has two electrons in first orbit and eight electrons in second orbit and in third orbit it has only one electron and during the chemical reaction sodium loses one electron this one electron then it becomes eight electrons then it gains eight electrons in its second orbit then it converts into converts into the unipositive ion Na+. So here during the chemical reaction sodium losing one electron and it is converting into unipositive ion. So in this way the sodium gaining eight electrons in second orbit then it becomes stable after chemical reaction and similarly the second second group elements for example let us take magnesium the atomic number of magnesium is 12 then it has two electrons in first orbit and eight electrons in second orbit and two electrons in third orbit so if it loses two electrons gaining six electrons to get eight electrons in outermost orbit it is very difficult so what does it do it loses two electrons then if it loses two electrons then it gets eight electrons in second orbit then it gets octet configuration it becomes stable after chemical reaction so the magnesium loses two electrons and it converts into di positive ion and this positive ions are said to be cations then two electrons will come out the other element which needs that electrons they gets that electrons and they become stable similarly that third group element third a group or 13th group elements let us say aluminum aluminum has the atomic number aluminum atomic number is 13 and it has two electrons in first orbit eight electrons in second orbit and three electrons in third orbit then the aluminum 
loses three electrons and it becomes tri-positive ions and it forms a cation and a three electrons comes out from the aluminum then it becomes it loses three electrons then eight electrons it gets eight electrons in inner orbit in this way the aluminum also gets stability so similarly sixth group elements they have six electrons in its outermost orbits to get stability to get the nearest inert gas configuration it needs two more electrons so during the chemical reaction it gains two electrons and it converts into di negative ion or anion so for example oxygen its atomic number is 8 and in its inner orbit first orbit has two electrons and second orbit has six electrons so six electrons are the valence electrons for the oxygen losing six electrons is very difficult so it always try to gain two electrons if it gains two electrons it it becomes eight electrons in its outermost orbits and which gives stability to that so during the chemical reaction the oxygen gains two electrons the oxygen gains two electrons and it becomes di negative ion or anions so O2 minus. Similarly, seventh group elements. Seventh group elements generally they have seven electrons in their outermost orbit. So if it gets one electron, it becomes stable. So for example, chlorine. Chlorine, its electronic configuration is 17, and its inner orbits, first orbit has two electrons and second orbit has eight electrons and the third orbit has seven electrons to get stability the chlorine needs one electron in its outermost or third orbit so if it gains one electron then it becomes eight electrons in outermost orbit then it gets stability so during the chemical reaction the chlorine gains one electron then it becomes uni negative ion or anion if we observe that 18th group elements for example let us take neon the neon the atomic number of neon is 10 then in inner orbit it has first orbit it has two electrons and the second orbit it has eight electrons so total 10 electrons then in its outermost orbit or second orbits neon has 8 electrons so there is not necessity for the gaining or losing the electron for the neon so it is unreactive the neon has 8 electron already in its outermost orbit so it is not necessary to participate in the chemical reaction for the neon as well as all the inert gases in this way these neon uh, inert gases are stable they are having very low reactivity in this way every atom undergo chemical change to get eight electrons in its outermost orbit by losing or gaining so this is about valency electronic theory and based on this octet rule is developed the octet rule is nothing but all the atoms undergo chemical reactions to leave eight electrons in their outermost orbit which gives stability to them this is about electronic theory of valence given by cosell and lewis thank you